We traveled by bus from San Luis Potosí to Puerto Vallarta on December 21st, 2024. We had to take two buses. Once we got to Guadalajara, it was five and a half hours. We took another bus five and a half hours from Guadalajara to Puerto Vallarta. The bus was on some windy roads towards the end of the trip, but it was very lush, tropical, and green. Puerto Vallarta is located in a valley along the Pacific Ocean. Puerto Vallarta is a destination that combines breathtaking scenery with a vibrant culture. From its gorgeous beaches and its stunning sunsets to its restaurants and exciting nightlife, Puerto Vallarta offers plenty of activities for young and old. Puerto Vallarta has something for everybody. Los Mortos Beach runs along the Malacan with the Los Mortos Beach Pier along the Romantica Zone. The pier replaced an older wooden pier depicted in the 1964 movie, The Night of the Iguana, starring Richard Burton. The new pier was completed in 2013 and is now contemporary looking with a metal structure in the center resembling a, the sail of a boat. Many say the pier has been described as a symbol of the city. Tell me what you think. At the end of the pier is where you would go ahead and take a boat for an excursion. The pier in its short time has become iconic and is featured in a lot of videos and pictures of Puerto Vallarta and was one of my must-see things while we were there. And now we head to the Malacan to see what that has to offer. Along the Malacan, there's a lot of statues. This one is called the Subtle Stone Eater. This one that Mark and I are standing by is called the Good Fortune Unicorn. It's said that it brings you good luck to all who touch it. Unfortunately, we did not know that at the time, nor did we touch it. This one is called the Millennium. It represents hope for peace with the woman on the top touching and reaching out for the dove. This one is the boy with the seahorse, the first statue on the Malacan to be placed. This statue is also known when you see it in Puerto Vallarta as a very well-known symbol. This one is the dancers of Vallarta. This one is in search of reason with the ladder. Some think it's the mother below who's pleading with her children to come down. Others think it is her encouraging them to explore new heights. This one is Triton and Siren, ancient Greek god of the sea. This guy's a street performer and his makeup was really good. We saw some pole dancers while we were there. Oops. Not this kind of pole dancer, unfortunately. We saw the Valadores de Pamplantla. If you've never seen this performed, it's quite impressive.
Gracias. Gracias. So Paulette and I are sitting here at the beach. Um, you have to order something in order to sit at the table. So I got a uh, michelada with Victoria. And what did you get? I got a Pinot Grigio for 160 pesos. You'd think it could be a whole glass, right? Yeah. You're on vacation in Puerto Vallarta at high season. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. And here we are looking at the beach a couple of rows back because it's as close as we can get. And the drinks are expensive, but you're really just kind of paying for the experience. And while sitting here, you will be inundated with vendors. Here Mark and I are walking through Lazaro Cardenas Park, or the Mosaic Tile Park, named after former presidents. Once it was plain concrete, now it's beautifully decorated with colorful mosaic tiles. A great place to walk through and admire it with, this in, with its intricate design. And on Saturday mornings, artisans and farmers set up stands drawing locals and tourists to shop and grab something to eat. The mosaic benches were truly amazing. I can't imagine how many hours it must have taken to create all of this beautiful artwork for people to see. Look at these beautiful poles. No dancing allowed. The park is located in the heart of downtown Puerto Vallarta. An artist by the name of Natasha Moraga and volunteers transformed it from what it used to be, like I said, the plain concrete in the plaza to a dazzling mosaic. Um, beautiful scene. The mosaic design reflects the tropical sunlight, which brings wonderful color to it, bringing new life to the romantic zone of the old town of Puerto Vallarta. Construction began in 1935 on the Malacan and was completed between 1948 and 1952. The Malacan was designed as a small maritime prominent for the middle class. The walk along the Malacan is beautiful. It's very nicely done. It's quite some distance. Here we're in a more open area. Farther down the Malacan there are streets just lined with very good restaurants. All in all, a good experience, a nice walk for sure. Here we met up with Doug at a restaurant. Uh, Doug house sat for us once, and uh, we thought we would bump into him again. And this is the name of the restaurant. Probably the best pizza I've had in Mexico, by the way. Here we're having breakfast at this cafe. And I'm telling you, the sandwiches were incredible. And had great coffee as well. Strong coffee. So if you're wondering what you can do in Puerto Vallarta, I'll give you some ideas. There's a huge list. Um, first of all, it's home to some of the uh, finest resorts in Mexico. But you can golf, you can whale watch, sports fishing, surfing, jungle tours, horseback riding, snorkeling, uh, romantic walks along the beach, or the Malacan, many restaurants, uh, miscellaneous classes, arts, cooking, uh, walking tours, boat tours, and more. Hop on, hop off bus, which Mark and I did not do. Uh, you could take a dinner cruise and a show, hikes, uh, parasailing. There's numerous things that you could do in Puerto Vallarta. What you're looking at is the Our Lady of Refuge Parish. It opened in 1940. It sits 
off of Miguel Hidalgo Park, just one block from where the Malacan begins. It's really a beautiful church as we head up the steps here. We'll do just a quick look inside. Thankfully, there was no one in church, so we just walked in for a little bit. Beautiful colors. The sun really made the window stand out. And then looking back out towards Paulette and the ocean. Walking around town, there's a lot of shops. Sidewalks were narrow in some areas compared to others. And as you can see, the streets are cobblestone. Now we were here in high season. Um, the weather was good, but overcast, as you can tell. Um, but I personally really enjoyed walking along the streets, looking at the different shops, uh, admiring the cobblestone streets, even though they're treacherous to walk on, and especially when they're wet because they become slick. Um, but really the only paved roads I saw were the main roads. All of the other side streets were cobbled like this. And walking around and looking at things, we notice that the prices are higher there for different things than they are where we live in San Luis Potosí. And in some cases, it almost seemed like double. Uh, but anyway, that's just my thought about it. It was a, It's a very beautiful place, Puerto Vallarta. A lot of uh, artisans live there. You can buy some really nice art for a lot of money, but you know I'm sure that it's worth it. Well, keep in mind too, Mark, that Puerto Vallarta is a big tourist um, you know, area to visit. So prices I would understand would increase because they do high volume of tourists on a regular basis. And there are a lot of expats that are living there too. Yeah. And I was surprised because it seemed like there were more Canadian expats that we ran into more so than uh, expats from the United States. Right. But that's not unusual because they're escaping the cold from Canada and doing their warmer weather here in uh, Mexico during this time. Now there could be pole dancing here, we don't know. Now this building was an Airbnb, but it also had some art for sale in there. In fact, one piece that Paulette and I were very interested in, which is this one, which was 17,000 pesos or 1,000 US dollars. Mark and I decided to go on a snorkeling trip one day. That ran us about 1,800 pesos, which is about $55 each. We did about an hour of snorkeling and then we were taken to this beach. Um, this is where we had lunch. Breakfast was also included. And um, going out to snorkeling, we had free drinks. And coming back, we also had free drinks. Here we have Mark's crazy old man look at the beach. And I went down to the beach collecting shells because that's another thing that I like to do. Unfortunately, somehow I stubbed my foot and I wasn't sure whether I broke my toe or just bruised it badly. At this restaurant, we met up with our, some of our subscribers, Joe, Lorraine, and Lois. Um, they live very near this restaurant. It was kind of an interesting place on the inside, although dark, so it was hard to get good pictures of the food. Sorry about that. But we really had a good time in there, enjoyed their company as well. Mark and I are on our way 
to checking out the Kimberly House. The Kimberly House is the former house of Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. It's pretty big. It's got nine suites, a spa, a pool, um, an open dining area, a restaurant called the Iguana Restaurant. Of course, I said earlier that Richard Burton was starred in a movie um, with that name, Iguana. Uh, tequila Bar. The house now is a hotel overlooking the city in Puerto Vallarta. The attire is formal and elegant. Richard Burton, his cost Casita was across the street from the Kimberly house. He gave the Casa Kimberly to Elizabeth Taylor for her 32nd birthday in 1964. Richard Burton uh, built a bridge connecting his Casita to the Kimberly house. Okay. Mark and Paulette here, the two travelers in Mexico, and look who we ran into in beautiful Puerto Vallarta. Hello, <laughs> hello. hello. It's great seeing you guys here. That's awesome. It is pretty awesome, and you are? I, we're Stefan and Ada. and Ada, and we're living simply in Mexico here in Puerto Vallarta. And uh, these two travelers in Mexico, we watch them all the time, and they're awesome, and we're so excited to be here a little bit on their channel. Yeah, and we watch you guys all the time, too, <laughs> so you should definitely check out Living Simply in Mexico. And subscribe to their and channel. Subscribe yes. to yes. their channel and <laughs> click the notification button. And all of the other things that YouTubers tell you to do. Oh, oh my man. God, you're no. you're so much more pro than we are. We yeah. like we like forget to we we forget yeah. to tell ask people that half yeah. the time. So. That's what we do the voiceovers. That's a little hidden trick here. We do the voiceover, so <laughs> yeah. we catch that later. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, good. good seeing you guys. Yeah, yeah awesome afternoon. You too. Yeah. yeah. One night, Paulette and I decided to head back out to the Malacan to experience some street food. Um, and we came across this, which was crepes, which is very good. Not quite like the Marquesitas that I like, but still very good. Oh yeah, Marquesitas, you can't beat those at all. Passing through the Malacan, we passed Los Arcos uh, Amphitheater, where there was some um, performance going on with uh, singing. And uh, those arches, there's four arches that um, lead out to the sea. It's kind of a cool view when you look through it. And here I just did a, uh, a picture, you know, all around where we were standing so you could kind of get a view. As you can see, there were a lot of people out and a lot of families just enjoying the music and having a good time. Puerto Vallarta brings a lot of people here and a lot of uh, monsters too, apparently, that are trying to earn uh, some extra money, I guess, when they're not uh, in movies. This guy's costume was fantastic. I can't imagine how much time it must have taken him to get into it, though, but it was really very well done. Some of these street performers' costumes are just wild, like this guy's right here. Our accommodations that we stayed at in Puerto Vallarta was listed on Airbnb. We stayed there for five nights. The price was 4,861 pesos, or roughly 271 US dollars for the five nights. It was hosted by Mary. Um, it did get some noise from the houses on the other side of the Airbnb, but I enjoyed the celebration of singing and children playing and laughing. On the other side, music could be heard around 9 a.m. and sometimes in the evening hours. But as I always say, it's Mexico. Embrace the culture and relax. Now here we are inside the apartment. We just came through the living room area. There's a small kitchen area and into the bedroom. Looking around, then we'll head into the bathroom area. I thought it was a great location where the Airbnb was. It was very close to the Malacan. Yeah, I, I agree too. Very close to the Malacan, great location. The accommodations were good as well. Final thoughts for Puerto Vallarta. We were there five nights. Um, I would go back again. I did enjoy our stay. I think that there was more that we could have seen that we didn't get around to seeing. What about you, babe? Yeah, I liked it a lot. It was a lot of fun. Like you said, a lot of scenery, a lot of art. Uh, to be seen there. Uh, very walkable, pretty flat. Here we are on our way to our next location, 
Not on a cruise ship, however. If you guys enjoyed our video, we hope that you would subscribe to our channel and leave us comments below.